talk about buyer agent's compensation. It used to be that more often than not, the compensation for a buyer's agent was paid by the seller. Now regulations have changed and the responsibility to pay for the compensation, for the buyer representation, the agent who represents and protects you, the buyer, falls on you. The buyer's agent can still negotiate with the seller's agent to get them to contribute to that, the compensation or pay it off, whether it's the entire amount or a portion of it. They can still negotiate that. But now with all the new regulations that all agents must follow, at the end of the day, making sure that the buyer's agent gets paid is now the responsibility of the buyer. Legally, you have to sign an agreement before any buyer's agents in the United States can work with you. That agreement will always say that the buyer's agent is ultimately responsible to pay the buyer's agent's commissions, not the seller. That said, the seller can still pay the commission. It just has to be negotiated off the MLS. The new regulation does not say that the seller can't pay the buyer representation fee. It's something that can be negotiated on your behalf. Some sellers will still choose to pay the buyer's agent compensation, and some just won't. So you can choose to write an offer on a home where the seller pays the fee for your buyer's agent, or you can choose not to write an offer on the home if the seller is not willing to pay for it. And again, all commissions or all compensations are always negotiable between all parties, and it always has been. There is no traditional, customary, or standard commission amount. Commissions are negotiable just as who will be paying for them is negotiable. That compensation can seem like a big chunk, so is it really worth it? If you choose the right broker to represent you, it definitely, definitely is. Seller's agents are just that. They are there to represent the seller. You want someone who's working on your behalf too. Most experts agree that buyers who try to represent themselves often end up paying more for the home because they don't have the negotiation skills or the market knowledge that an agent does. They might also miss out on finding the best home for themselves because they don't have access to all of the listings and all of the information. Not only that, but buyers who don't have a real estate expert in their court can end up with dozens of legal headaches and unexpected costs and end up in litigation. It is a very complex process. Trust me on that. When buyers decide to represent themselves in a real estate transaction without the expertise of a buyer's agent, they might think they're saving money. But when you consider the overall financial investment and the potential liability, involved, it's a really a full savings. Having representation makes a huge difference. For example, according to the National Association of Realtors, homes sold directly by owner, known as for sale by owner, without representation tend to sell for an average of 95,000 less than sellers who use an agent. So if having a professional representation can make that much difference to a seller, think about how much it can actually benefit you, the buyer even if you're the one paying your agent's commission. And you know what? Your agent doesn't get paid at all until they've succeeded in getting you into the home you want. First of all, they guide you towards the right home. This means that they start by contacting you to a reputable mortgage loan officer so you can really understand what you can afford. You don't want to waste your time looking at a Mercedes if all you can qualify for is a Hyundai. A great agent will also help you get clear understanding of what you need your priorities, and what you love to have in a home, and the must-haves, so we speak. And before dragging you around on home tours, they'll research different neighborhoods and homes to find you a great match. They'll guide you to detailed information on things like crime rates, traffic patterns, local amenities, and we will absolutely guide you where to look up the schools because we are not allowed to tell you that. Here's the deal. An experienced buyer's agent knows things that you probably aren't thinking of, like is there a lot of traffic in a certain area? How does a certain sun exposure affect the value of your home? Are certain areas in certain neighborhoods selling for more or less? And why is that? These are things that you wouldn't think about or you wouldn't know about if you weren't an experienced agent. Before you ever step in the car, you'll know exactly what you're looking at and if it's the right fit for what you're looking for. And once you find a home you like, they'll research the current market and market trends even further. And they'll talk to the seller's agent about the seller's priorities and their hot buttons. At this point, they'll also ask the seller's agent if the seller is or is not willing to pay the buyer's agent fee. All of this is to help you in an offer that will be the most attractive offer to the seller at a price you can afford 
with the terms you want or help you decide whether to make an offer at all. Your agent will present your offer and begin the negotiation processes. A great agent will be a terrific collaborator negotiator with the experience and expertise to know how to compromise and create the deal that both are happy with the buyer and the seller. Your buyer's agent will be able to negotiate things like rent backs, potential maintenance, issues, repair requests, and closing costs, including the buyer's agent compensation. Your agent will negotiate the right pricing terms and make sure you're not paying more for the home than you should. They'll negotiate credits and additional items on your behalf that the seller will pay instead of you. I think that's a win-win, right? The seller's agent wants to protect their seller and get them the most money and best terms. As a buyer's agent, their job is to do the same for you. Their goal is to negotiate all of this and make sure you get the best possible price and terms, especially in a competitive market. It's like a boxing match between the listing agent and your agent. Once your offer is accepted, your agent then manages all the people and the processes to ensure the deal goes through. We want to get it to the closing table. They'll order inspections, roof, pest control, plus any special inspections needed, like pool, well, septic, radon, oil tank sweeps, all that fun stuff. And we will point out any issues as they arise. We will also coordinate appraisals and discussions and discuss the results with you. They'll order and review the title report and point out any red flags along with the attorney. They'll keep on top of the lenders and help you provide whatever documentation is necessary. If your state or situation calls for it, they will co coordinate with the attorneys. They'll review the seller's disclosures and point out any potential problems and negotiate a resolution to those items. They'll deal with the title companies, escrow companies, and attorneys. They will also connect you with home insurance companies, home warranty providers, and they'll help you choose the best option for your situation because they'll be right there with you and know what's best. Your agent will manage all of these people and processes to keep your escrow on track and communicate regularly so you know exactly what's going on. There's no surprises. Their job is to also make sure that you are protected from any legal liability and help you keep your initial earnest money deposit safe and ensure the home. Yes, your agent will literally spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours behind the scenes working on your behalf. And it's only when they succeeded and you actually have the keys to your dream home in your hands that they get paid. Again, her agreement. You, as the buyer, are contractually responsible to this fee through your agent. Though your agent will negotiate to try and get the seller to peg it. It won't always happen, so you have to know this up front. So this is what a great buyer's agent does and so much more. And that, my friends, is how you break down the value of compensation for you as a buyer's agent. My name is Allison Morrell, broker owner and founder of Real Connect Realty, where we are all about creating seamless connections in real estate, tailored just for you. I look forward to hearing from you and stay connected.